So, so I want to get the concept out there that you want to stay open. You want to let go, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of what I do is shifting perspectives. Have you noticed that, Adam? Mm -hmm. Are you, what are you looking at? Are you looking at the clock? Oh, no, it's just right and stay open. Okay. So now, bring up your issue again. Talk about it a little bit. Negativity. The idea that I have to be negative and stay there. And if I'm going to be, if I think positively, it's bad. It's not going to work. Uh, I don't deserve it. My beliefs won't work for me. I don't believe in myself. Is it, like, 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 is, is it almost like you can't do it? Well, I don't feel like I can do it. Yeah. I, I don't feel like it's going to happen. Yeah. So is it like you can't do it? I guess it is like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be here because the, it's close. You can't get out, but you're pushing, pushing, pushing. This is where a lot of people get frustration when you're frustrated. You, yeah, you get all tight and everything. You notice that? And that's how people. Now, when you do that, you're also getting tight neurologically inside your brain, and you're coming to it and you're trying to go out, but that's the wrong way. You know, you have to turn around and then open up this way, and also it's literally like opening a door, and now you, you can you, walk out. Yeah, you just said push, and that's that's the exact word. Yeah, it's like it's not that like I can't do it. It's like that I have to push to get it, and when I push, I don't get it. It's it, it's that. That's what it is. It's about pushing. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to, we were going to do timeline therapy on this, but I don't think he needs timeline therapy on this. So let's just do this first. You already have your answer. Open up. Yep. So when you, when you, when we were talking in the other video about how you uh, invested money in, in the Instagram ad, you realized it was a gamble, but what did you do? You let it go. Uh, dropped it. You mm -hmm. just dropped it, said, well, this is a gamble. It's not that much money, so no big deal. And then what happened? Got it. Forgot about it. Yeah. It's like someone called from somewhere completely unexpected. Yeah. So you got a client. Mm -hmm. So now you got money coming in, right? Yeah. So you're you're pretty good at doing this with money. You're pretty good at like, you know, investing money, putting it here, getting money here. Cause because with you, you on some level you've learned you've got to let you've got to let go. Right? It's kind of like putting a seed somewhere and letting it grow. Yeah. Exactly what it is. You gotta just give it a little water and then just leave it alone for a while. Don't don't keep don't keep messing with it. Just leave it alone. Walk away. Mm. Maybe a week later, give it a little bit more water and walk away. Right. I'm going to write that down. Seed and let it grow. That works. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that sounds so much more relaxing. It is. And so in the last video, when, when you finally imagined applying that to meeting a woman and not pushing and then just like just allowing it until, and letting it go. You had that same feeling again, didn't you? Mm. My oh. question is, how do I stop myself from pushing? Because it's like, just sometimes just comes back to me, you know? There are a series of techniques that I will teach you, and it's all about being internal. It's all about allowing and letting go. These are actual techniques that you will practice and do that open you up, that allow things to flow. Okay, so what you need to do is once you learn these techniques, you got to practice them and then you begin to apply them when you're speaking to women or when you're dealing with money or success in sports. It applies to everything. It, that's why I keep bringing up boxing and kickboxing because that's where I first understood it. That's where I first started to do it. And the minute I did it, I got really, really good at boxing. And then all I did, I started applying this to, uh, to meeting women, to communicating with women to talking to women this applies to dating relationships life and sports and business okay this is such an important concept i wanted to pull up this picture from the ufc robbie lawler one of my favorite fighters in the ufc now number one this applies to anything in life whether you want to meditate pray 
be more relaxed in life. In fact, that's the whole point. It applies to intensity, it applies to relaxation, it applies to making money, to success, to meeting women, and on and on and on. Okay, the one thing that I have mastered this at is sports and meeting women. And not, not just meeting women in dating relationships, but just even interacting with women, okay? So this applies to every area of your life. This is really, really important to understand. There's an artery in the lower reptilian brain. If you are in a fear state or a thinking state, that artery narrows and you don't have access to the, the larger hemisphere, the options and possibilities, so you can't flow from one thing to another to another. That's why some athletes, you know, other, God, that guy, he just seems like a natural. Yes, because he got really good somehow, whether consciously or unconsciously, on how to enter that state of mind, which literally means opening up that artery. That is what all of my courses specialize in because that is what allows you to get what you want out of life and enjoy it and be happy doing it. Now take a look at Robbie Lawler's veins. They are literally flowing with blood. That's because that artery is open, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that because it, it applies to whether, you, okay, take yoga. You think, well, that's very peaceful. It is peaceful. The idea of yoga is to get into the flow state. Now, I live in an area where they do a lot of logical thinking yoga, and they never enter that state. They never open up. They never relax. Okay? So you might be going to yoga class, but you may, may never, ever enter that peaceful state of flow. Now, the challenge with most men, they think that thinking is the way to go. It is not. And the next uh, piece that we're about to listen to, I talk about this. What most men do is they do what's called push energy. That literally is, is literally pushing on the brakes. So it's like you got the gas and the brakes on and you're not going anywhere, but you're just burning up and it's very frustrating. What you have to learn how to do is take your foot off the brakes and put your foot on the gas and now you're in the flow state. I'll give you one more real life example. Whenever I was in boxing, kickboxing, football or wrestling, when you are not in that flow state, when you're trying to think things out, you, you get your ass kicked. When you let go of thinking and you go into that flow state, it becomes natural. It becomes, you, be, you, you do a lot better. I mean, a hundred times better. And here's the thing, you actually begin to enjoy the process. That's the cool thing about all of this. Yeah, because it's, it's a male's natural state of being. And the challenge for a male when he starts to grow up is to learn to let go of that push, push, push all the time. Because you, you're, you're in your 40s, so you're, this is where most men start to realize, like, wait a minute. Mm. All that working hard and pushing, pushing, pushing is not actually working like I thought it would. Because we think the harder we push, the, sooner, the more money we're going to make, the sooner we're going to get there. And it turns out that's usually the longest, hardest, most painful way. And a lot of times it's like, I can't get it. Yeah, a lot of guys in their 20s and 30s say that. And they get super frustrated and they work their asses off. Man. And they get Just angry like, and they yeah, keep, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, they turn into kind of like hermits in a way. They're very lonely. Like I know one guy and it's weird because they go out, but it's like they're, they're not, they're alone even though when they're with people because they're not open. They're very yeah, sad. Because they're literally doing this. <laughs> focused and thinking and nobody wants to be around that okay adam when you go to a business party or a club or you just go out to dinner with a friend or a family mm -hmm. are you going there to be in business mode mm -mm. thinking right or wrong either or what's the rules or is it more like no dude we're trying to relax we're trying to literally open up now this is a technique i teach okay i'm not going to teach this in this video but we're just learning how to we're just going to clubs to relax and that's what most guys don't understand. They go to a club to meet a girl and they're thinking, well, I'm going to pay for money. I'm going to wear a nice shirt. And they're thinking about step one, step two. That's all left brain logical. The left brain is the business brain, the work brain. And women are like, oh, I don't want to be around that. I came here to get away from this fucking thing. And I want to be here because this is where I can breathe, relax. And now I can have fun. Mm -hmm. So one way you can open up is your breathing techniques that taught you, right?
Mm-hmm. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do the parts integration. So do you want to do it?